The Song of Solomon, chapter 6, verse 5. Turn away thine eyes from me, for they have overcome me. Thy hair is as a flock of goats that appear from Gilead. Turn your eyes away from me. We've looked at this verse before, but there's another way of understanding it. God has to tell them to turn their eyes away from him to get on with everyday life. The essence of the Jew, as with a Christian, is a yearning to be one with God. After all his festivals, including the Sabbath, the Jew has difficulty returning to the mundane world, but he has to. In fact, most of the commandments refer to everyday life. The reason for this is that we are to make this physical world a godly place. As Jesus said, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Whilst we have to be able to project, as it were, our thoughts in prayer and worship, to remain there indefinitely would be a sin because we have a mission here and need to get on with it. It seems that we're descending when we return to work, but this is false because all things are his, including this world. We are simply changing the scene. The psalmist had a different perspective. In Psalm 113, verse 51, he says that God looks down upon both earth and heaven. He transcends, in other words, all things. He sits in the true heights, Shemei Hashemayim, the heaven of heavens, Deuteronomy 10, 14 and 1 Kings 8, 27. The proper perspective is to see heaven and earth side by side, not one above the other. We don't descend after prayer and worship. We move across. Now, in the temple, the Levites were in charge of the worshipful music. Whilst the priests fulfilled all the everyday tasks of clearing out the old ashes, sacrificing the animals and preparing them, caring for the utensils and general fabric of the temple, yet the Levites were subservient to the priests, teaching us that the practical is highly valued and no wonder, because that is what we all find the greatest challenge of all.